This is Casey Gisclair here with Chance Bro before the Cage Warrior Championships 14 at the Evergreen Cajun Center in Homa on Saturday night at 7 p.m. Uh, Chance, we've had a lot of fighters on here throughout the day. Um, so I guess just give us a rundown of how your camp has gone so far. What are some of the things you're looking to do on Saturday night? My camps were pretty good. I've had a lot of different uh, sparring partners, a lot of guys who's fought around the area. It's really mentored me and helped me prepare me for this fight. It's been a long time coming. I've been um, working. Definitely want to showcase my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. To my knowledge, I'm the youngest brown belt that they have in the state of Louisiana. So I'm definitely looking to test that in, in the cage come Saturday night. So you're a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter? Yes, sir. Cool. How long have you been uh, practicing that discipline? I've been training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for around four years now. And, um, but that's four years every day, a couple times a day training. Very good. Um, what are some of the things you like the most about it? Things I like the most about it. Um, to me, jiu-jitsu is like is is one of the few sports where you can go all out and still be able to like recover and like maintain yourself. Like for example, if I were to box 100% every day, you you wouldn't you wouldn't be doing that. You'd have brain damage for the end of it. Jiu-jitsu, we have a safety valve. You get a submission, boom, I tap out, then we restart. So it's like a game of chess using your body, but the end result is death. That's checkmate. Very good. Now, how many fights have you had so far in your career? I've had no um, MMA fights yet, but I've had well over 100 grappling matches. Okay, so this is going to be your first time in the, in the cage on Saturday? Yes, sir. This is my first so, time in the cage, making my debut. What are your thoughts about that? I mean, I'm sure Saturday is going to be a special night for you. How, what are some of the things you're going to do to try to calm those little bit of butterflies that you may have? It's going to be a real special night, and I'm not going to try to calm myself at all. I feed off the energy of the crowd. Um, it motivates me. The more people I have watching me, the more energy I get, and that, that makes me perform better. So you're from this area, the home area? Yes, this is this is my, this is my city. Okay, very good. So, coming from Mississippi. Um, you're going to have family and friends and, and people that you went to school with and everything like that when you're going to be walking down that aisle. You're going to be defending more than just yourself. I'm sure you kind of touched on that a minute ago. What's it going to be like fighting at home? It's going to be amazing. I'm going to have the crowd, uh, crowd behind me definitely, and uh, it's going to motivate me more to showcase what I, what I want to. This isn't going past the first round. Very good. Do you know much about the guy that you're fighting? I know you said he's from Mississippi, but have you got he's a chance? He's from Mississippi. He's a um, power punch from around Belcher's gym. He's like a two-stripe white belt. None of the stuff really does me concerns me. Okay. What was uh, the weight that you're trying to get at before Saturday? Um, I'm actually fighting the weight I walk around at, 155 pounds. That's what I train at. That's what I mean snicker bars at. Um, I didn't want to cut any weight for this fight. I didn't want to worry about my weight, I want to worry about my fight. So very good. I'm going in there feeling feeling great. I'm just worried about fighting. Very good. So you're going to be very comfortable in yes, there. Yes, sir. Good. So uh, the question that I've asked everybody so far, and I'm going to ask you the same question now, is if there's anybody out there that is driving in their car and they're hearing you speak right now and they're thinking about going to the fight but they're not quite sure if it's for them or whatever it may be, what would you want to tell them right now to convince them to go spend Saturday night with you all? Uh, it, it, it's a great time. It definitely hypes the kids up and there's something primal about it like that, that's the beautiful thing about fighting it, it, you can understand in all cultures all cultures understand what this is you know so it's once you get there you feel the energy of it and truly really enjoyable we have kids there we have older people there it's of every age group there and everybody enjoys it. it's a good way to bond with the family how long have you been uh, working with Justin and those guys out there I've been actually um I had Justin showing me moves in middle school whenever he would substitute teach for me but um, I've been training, I go there cross training with Justin um, probably since I was 14 years old. I'm, I'm 19 now, but my primary home is Blacklist Martial Arts. Okay, and you said you're 19. How long have you been wanting to do this? I mean, is this something that ever since you were very little? Since I was very, very little. Uh, my grandpa taught me from a very young age boxing and kung fu. So he instilled the love of fighting in me, instilled the love of martial arts. And then once I saw the UFC on TV, I was hooked. I'm like, this is what I have to do.